When you think about Best Picture winners, you probably picture some biopic or deep character-driven drama whose epic scope is only matched by its epic runtime. But what if I told you there was a Best Picture winner that came in at a brisk 90 minutes? That would be the absolute classic, Marty. But what is it about Marty that allowed it to compete and ultimately win an award that so often prioritizes big budget spectacle over low key character dramas? Marty stars the late Ernest Borgnine as the titular down on his luck bachelor whose depression prevents him from abandoning his family's judgment and pursuing a woman named Clara. Clara is referred to as a dog throughout the film. Due to those around Marty not appreciating her for who she is as a person, but merely commenting on her looks. It's an interesting look at the social norms of the era, the likes of which Marty, a man whose sensitivity places him far ahead of his time, struggles with. Marty just wants to settle down and be happy, and Clara makes him happy. But he must deal with the constant barrage of comments from those around him who disapprove of his relationship because it's not what society says he should have chosen. Marty was also among the first films of its time to discuss depression and suicide directly in spite of the societal suppression that forced so many to lock their feelings within them instead of admitting their need for help. Through the eyes of its leads, we got to see how life can beat someone down and leave them feeling weak and small and how they can deal with that in healthy ways. Despite being so short, Marty manages to carry as much emotional weight as any other Best Picture winner and tells a story that needs to be heard even all these years later.